You are now tuned into the greatest sneaker podcast of all time. The Sneak Dis. Greg, Ryan, George. Follow us on Twitter, the underscore Sneak Dis. Get on that Instagram, the Sneak Dis. And check out our website that's updated daily, www.thesneakdisc.com. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. Here we go. <laughs> Website not updated daily, but smash that bug sound funny. <laughs>Episode 88. Yes. This episode is uh, actually sponsored this week. We actually have a sponsor, uh, Cambridge Denim. Uh, it's a denim company out of Massachusetts. We will be talking to the owner for Play a little on bit. on words, eh? We'll be talking to, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be talking to the owner, uh, Ross Sharpenter. I think that's his name. Sharpenter. Uh, we'll talking to him for a little bit about his uh, company and brand. Uh, you know, quick talk. And uh, who's jersey number 88? Every, I'll let you go first. Literally everyone let you go first. jersey number 88. Literally. Well, uh, obviously Michael Irvin. <coughs> Ty Montgomery. Active Des players. Bryant. Des Bryant. Des Bryant. I didn't even think Des Bryant. I was waiting for uh, Randy Moss. Uh, it, nah, no. he wore 84, 84 and 81. That's right. Wait. We already said Moss twice. I Who said, was the Packers? I said Moss for 81, and you guys were like, he wasn't 81? Uh, yes, yes, he, he was. was. <laughs> I said he was. I forgot. No, no, no. You both said, or someone said, maybe it was Don. Right, we had someone else here that one, I, and I was like, Randy he wore Moss. That you in the, like, oh, he wore that in the Patriots, Patriots yeah. yeah. Ooh, what's um, his name? The, who, was the, who was the... Clive Walford? Who was the... Who was the... <laughs> who was the tight end for the... Uh, pause. Who was oh, the tight Giants. End? Uh, no, not Giants. Jeremy Ingram, Shockey? Evan Ingram. Jeremy Shockey, 80. Evan Ingram just tore the Raiders a new one last week, so that's why I know him. Everybody's tearing the Raiders. No, the, well, the tight ends do. Pause. I don't know about other positions. The tight end that used to play for the Packers with Finley. Oh yeah, he's with the. Uh, nah, he was eighty-seven. Jermichael Finley. He's trash. Michael Finley. Yeah, he's he trash. was good. Yeah. He was good. And he's speaking up against like. I mean, you remember his comments on the Kaepernick thing or whatever? I don't like him. Well, uh, and yeah. and he was the one that was in that Madden video, right? Or the where he gets hurt, but he still. Strings it out. It always goes viral. He was strung out. What? No, nah, he gets hurt like on the run in Madden, <laughs> and like that, like that dude's like comment, like commentating him as he goes, and they always, mm-hmm. always goes on like hook clip stuff on Instagram. Damn. Mm-hmm. He's like, he's you like, know who's not number eighty eight? Tony Gonzalez. You know who? Tony Gonzalez eighty eight. I think oh, so. I think so. Or was it eighty? 80? Oh no, no I don't think he, he was either been. one of those. Yeah, he was. He Let's was see. one of those eighty or eighty. I think he might have been. I don't think so. I don't know. Eighty eight. I thought I had a good one. 88. I'm good. Tony Gonzalez, 88. 88. 88. That doesn't even make any sense. Tory Holt, 88. No, no, Tony Gonzalez so. might you be just making best. stuff up now. Tory Holt, I think, was 88. No, he wasn't. Tony 81. Gonzalez. Marvin no, Harrison. Oz Hakeem was 81. Dang, we didn't say Oz Hakeem. Marvin Harrison. How's it going? Tony Gonzalez might be the best tight end of all time. <laughs> <laughs> um... Pickups. Who got pickups? NASCAR 88. We, I watched. I went back oh, and watched all episodes. Know NASCAR Bruh. 88. Oh, Ooh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. I don't watch. Shout, shout out, retired. White? Yeah, I mean, I know it. I said everybody in here should know it. I went back and watched old episodes. First, I watched number 59. Simple knows exactly why. Oh, the podcast? What about a 59? Luke Kigley. <laughs> yes, it was. Well, oh. Not only that, but it was also the first video. Oh. And then Luke Kigley. I searched episode number 60 for when Simple said Luke Kigley again. And it wasn't at the beginning. I assumed it was at the beginning when we said number 60. No. And he's just so excited to put Luke Kigley on the podcast again. <laughs> Luke Kigley owes us royalty. He has two well, Batgirl commercials. And well, both but we used Madden picture of him, not, <laughs> not I didn't actual give, I didn't give EA credit either. Um, <coughs> pickups. Oh, Who wants to go first? There comes a season desist. Who wants to go first? <laughs> <laughs> I'll Ooh. go first. All right, go ahead. I picked uh, Packer Ultra Boost mids. Which ones are those? The, Soulbox? Uh, yeah, the Solox oh, Packer. Got him for 180 ship DS. That's a good price. Wait a minute. From where? eBay. Oh, okay. They're under that. They're, like yeah, like, they're everywhere. Under retail. Yeah, yeah. I picked up, because I've been looking for a pink shoe, I picked up that Nemesis uh, Kith pink shoe uh, for also uh, for 185 ship. Nemesis pink That's Kith. under retail. That's What's under that? retail. The one without the laces? 
The same shoe that he got that's triple that's black. Triple he black. got the pink one. But the pink one. Oh, the okay. Goes. So, I mean, I got it for 185. Um, <laughs> it's just so man. nice. Wacko. Wacko. Huh? I went to the outlet this weekend. I bought the all red Hyperdunk 08 and the all blue red Hyperdunk 08. They were $24. I can't even think what those look like. Those are the ones that are. I don't know. They got the foam bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got Elvis I in the building. something else. Ah, so timbers are burning. I can hear Gun it right now. Gun on fire. Um, My mom would be excited if she was here right now. Something, something else is coming. Oh, something else. Oh, no, no. Something came in the mail. The Those non-natives, not non-native, but non-native. <laughs> Kith. <laughs> non-native. Kith, booth, Kith Boost mids came in, and they are Fire flames. Uh, I don't know, man. No, they're super fire. Lou Holtz. I and mean, they do look better. Like and in today, Lou Holtz today I got a third out. Here. Shout out, Kith. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Peel this. <laughs> <laughs> today, <coughs> got a pickup. Shout out, Greg, for the hookup. Dang, Gregory with the hookup. Gregory with the, the real MVP. With the behind the back, through the leg, Steve Nash. The real MVP in real life, but not the MVP on social media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, you got a thrashing today. Why? <coughs> we'll talk post? about it a little bit later. I really don't want to talk What about else did you get? You. What else you got? What'd you buy from him? Or what uh, did he whoop you? Yeezys. The gr- Grays. Dang. Beluga 2. Did you get a 10? Oh, you said you got a 9.5, right? Nine. Uh, it's a size 9. I'm going to take the insole out and cut the front and then let my feet hang out the front. That's dope. What'd you get, George? Cut the back instead. Did you? Pause. Did you? Uh, did you get him the mail already? Yeah, yeah, I been got him. Oh, all right. I didn't know if Adidas shipping was bad or not. He been had those. What, I ordered uh, something from Adidas on November twenty eighth, and it still has not shipped. What did you order? Like when they had that crazy like uh, Thanksgiving sale or whatever, I just ordered like a beanie because I'm going to Denver in February. Good for you. For what? And then Raiders. What do you mean? Why are you going to Denver for? It's for the Raiders bachelor party. <clears throat> oh. Wait. But, oh, go ahead. Well, it was $10. The EQT, like black EQT Adidas beanie for 10 bucks because it was like 40% off or whatever. And then another 30 Got boosted up. Beanie. I have like. <laughs> yes. I didn't say boost. I said EQT. I got like 430 beanies. I could have given I could have yeah, given you. I believe it. I got a got Supreme a beanie in my too. bag. You could have worn it. It was $10. Oh. Okay. It's okay. All right. Mm. I didn't need to sleep on it. I didn't need to think about it. $10. Prayed. How are you going to a bachelor party in February and you get married <clears> in March? When's your bachelor party? Probably the end of January. And you don't even know. Uh-huh. Are we invited? Yes. Are we invited? To <laughs> yes. Relax. All right. When is it? And where are we going? Probably Vegas. Okay. Probably Vegas. We got a plan for this, bro. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. Wow. It's at the end of January. It's probably the same weekend as Hannah's bachelorette party. Just makes it easy because the best man's wife is in Hannah's thing. So she's leaving to go to hers and he's leaving to go to mine, whatever. Okay. What are we doing there? <clears throat> what are you doing? What do you mean? In Vegas. You're doing whatever you want. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. I don't know. Hey, yeah. simple about the wild. <laughs> I, I don't drink anymore. You uh, okay? You uh, can drink adult beverages. You can put money on the table and let cards and dice des- decide the outcome. You can go to Top Golf. It you might actually be like uh, what's that show called? That movie Hangover. It might actually get like that. If one of y'all bring. Steroids or whatever they took on that, whatever, yes. whatever they yes. took. That movie is about them whatever. injecting each other and going to the gym. Whatever and they, they all brought. Each other yeah. up. Yeah, yes. might, I think it was horse steroids. Uh, if one of y'all spiked, they might yes. drink with that. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I got everybody. Shot each other up and went and bench pressed. I mean, everything the that movies. talked about last Rapping week pretty much everybody. came in. So, statics came in. Statics are so fire. So fire. Right. I know. I'm sad. Um, they're not undefeated, <laughs> which I didn't even They're just sitting there. Did uh, you go today to sign up for the... Uh, power phase? Oh, uh, no. That was today? Yeah. It was today. Oh, I didn't you know that. You don't care about that. Well, I mean, I would have just went. I mean, I didn't know. For power phase? Mm-hmm. I don't know which one is it. The gray. Oh. I think the gray are dope. The gray, I won't, I don't think I'm going to try to buy the black ones, but the gray ones are oh, power phase. I mean, if somebody else would have wanted it, I don't care about it. Um, yeah, exactly. Oh, cause shipped. So I'm excited about that. Still Dang. torn. I don't know what to do with it. Huh? So. I think I have to. I think the prices right are a little bit lower than the grays, but still high. Like I seen like sixteen hundred or something like that. Is that about right? Or that's about right. Uh, I seen two thousand. Yeah. I know a place you could sell it. You're rich. So. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, is he talking about white pound? Is he talking about Ben Hazos? Inside joke. 
Uh, Pause. What comes out this week? Um, a whole lot of nothing, really. Uh, the Jordan 9 Retro Boot. Fire. I know you guys have seen those. I'm not going to lie. Those boots are uh, fire. Okay. The olives don't suck. Oh, the Wind Like 96 comes out this weekend. They're red. Relax. I haven't oh, even yeah. got to that yet. The the boots are tight, though. Don't even oh, front of those. No. Grail come out this don't weekend. Don't front of the boots. Stop it. Grail comes out this weekend. The EQT Cushion ADV, which is the one without boost, that comes out. Nope. Ugly um, Sweater Global yes, release this weekend. Oh, yes, right. The Ugly Sweater uh, Dunks come out. And who's Clot. copying that? Huh? You copying that? If I, I need it. I need it under retail. I can't pay. Oh, retail you're not anymore. getting it under retail. Clot. Oh, that, um, I think I will. Converse mid, like the one that I think Magic and them used to wear before he got that. Like the one that came out in the Jordan pack. Yeah, like that one, the fast break. Nope. There's two different ones coming out of that. I only care about hype releases, bro. What do you got? Any Yeezys? What are you talking about? Easy a, Power Phase Saturday. It's a collab. You don't want to know about collab. Ain't nobody yeah, copying that collab? ugly shoe. I, I bet saw. you they are. No. Um, Special Field Air Force One High is coming out. Nope. I'm disappointed because I put my olives on eBay for $525 and nobody's bid on them or bought them and they sell on Flight Club for like eight and I'm super salty. Nobody's buying So them. sell them on GOAT. <coughs> Bad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's so disappointed in you. Uh, I can't. I, I can't tell none of y'all. I can't tell y'all anything. <laughs> I was like, he was up to myself. Did uh, you want me to? Okay, never mind. I right. could have said the other one. If I mean, all right. there is no other one. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Um, no, but there's already offers on there. What do you need eBay for? I guess my point is, you can sell it on a website that already it has. It was just offers. low. It was just low. What was low? The like the the sell now prices were low. Oh, all right. Well, that's whack. Um, women's Air Max ninety five ponies. I'm sure you've seen the picture of those. Yep. Those, those are, are coming out. Um, the Olive Flyknit trainer, I think in Europe they've already come out, but mm. those are coming out. And the Air, hmm, Vapor Max Laceless. Nope. <laughs> he doesn't want anything. Uh, he doesn't care. Nah, uh, none of those. The Kith uh, Montclair pack coming out. Y'all see that concept? Uh, the white, want the red, red blue. You see the concepts collab with? Uh, yeah, but it, they talked about that on that show. You didn't know about that. No, Wait, uh, Dion Point talked about it on oh, okay. the show that shall not be named. I, I contacted Dion Point. Uh, Wait, he what? Hasn't which, me what's, back. which converse? I mean, which concepts? With uh, what's his name? The coach about? that coached Seattle, the dad shoes. Monteclairs? What are those shoes called? Oh, you're talking about Pete Carroll? Yeah, Bruh. his shoes. His shoes? You talking about the, the Pete co- Carroll convention? The co- collabs Bruh. with the concepts. Both of you guys need to relax. What right? are they called? The Pete- Montebons? No, Mont. Uh, <laughs> Mont- stop. The- I can't think of them. Mont- not Montclair. Come on. What are they called? I'm not saying anything. I'm going to let you guys figure it out. Stop it. I know what these are called. let you guys figure it out. The dad shoes. That's the most selling Nike ever. I can see them in my head. I can Hold see on. Chill, head. fam. <laughs> Pete Carroll wears them. Concepts just did a color. Mon- Don't say it. Monarchs. Oh, Air Monarchs. Monarchs. Air Monarchs. <laughs> I'm about to say Montabon again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the place you got your Yeezys from. They're uh, selling Monarchs now. I forgot that's where it was. Uh, anything else? That's it? Uh, I just said the- What are we talking about today? Kith Monclairs. Uh, oh, we, well, are and we wait a second. Right hey, I'm not nah, done yet. I'm going to call it that. All right, what else you got? The last shoe in the Adidas Consortium pack, like the combination of the two- uh, Wait, what? All the Adidas, that pack that came out where it was like two boutiques that worked together with Adidas and they made... A Packer Soulbox? Yeah, similar to that. But the last one in that, you didn't know that was a thing? They're mm-hmm. all different shoes. What's the first one? Are you guys... Do you oh, know non-native kith. Or? Packer Soulbox. What's the third one? No, it was literally the entire year of 2017. Two sho- two clothing companies combined on everything? Oh, okay. You guys want to call a sponsor? Or? Well... I was gonna say well, Calabasas well, Power Phase come out, and I don't know how to pronounce the name of the store, but one of them is Invincible, and one of them is let me, let me take a I'm on I don't yeah. know if that. Um, we're the, talking about NMDs and the Ultra Boost come out, and then the Red Elevens. We're talking about the Yeezy release and what, that shipping. Nonsense. That was a and how nonsense it was. Yeah, I need them. Too bad they're a consortium. And then uh, Josh Gordon returned over the weekend. <laughs> He added that in. Had 85 yards. Could have had about 200, but we need a quarterback with better accuracy. Um, Josh Gordon's a beast. He's the best player in the NFL. Oh, okay. He's better what than What are we talking Bryant. about? Concord's coming back. Talking about Concord's coming back. Talking about – there's a lot of fire 11 lows coming out next year. What else did we say? 11 lows. Are there highs? They're lows? No, 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 no. 
know. Fire but, but those, strong but those Easter 11 lows are dope. Cool gray 11 lows. I need. Dang, they even got the mellow ball ones on here. Oh. I right. need, I need cool gray. Do they have Jello three? <laughs> he said, oh, right. calling our sponsor. Oh, like, he don't have enough time for the antics. And we're gonna talk about Levar Ball. Are we? I don't know. Oh, he took out. What's his name? We Angelo? should definitely talk about Jello s- snitching. All right, well let's get this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's uh, call. He's a super call. snitch. I want to listen to some more Elvis right now, no? Got my temperature Nobody rising. on the mic can hear that. What's that? Burn, Nobody on the mic is going to be able to hear that. Yeah, but we can add it in. You want me to play it right now? I can. Hello? Ross? Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Ross? It's Greg from Stingy's Podcast. Hey, Greg. What's going on, man? What's up, man? We're just getting through the show right now. I thought we'd give you a call so you could talk about uh, Cambridge Denim. Speaking of Ross... Sharp and tear. Uh, you are the owner and founder, right, of uh, Cambridge Denim? Yeah, man. Okay, cool. And we, ap- right. we appreciate you being the sponsor of this episode. So, Hey, man, I really appreciate having you guys um, You guys having me on. I mean, I, I listen to the show all the time. I'm a big fan. It's really cool just to talk with you guys, period. Oh, yeah. I don't mind being able to talk. We definitely want to make sure that we... Uh, teams I've been making. Yeah, no, we definitely want to be able to provide a platform for anybody who wants to come on our show and talk, especially if you have something going on. Notice you had a Kickstarter and things like that. So, you know, just, you know, you know, just, you know, right off top, you know, what made you even, you know, anybody could have started a T-shirt company. There's a lot of T-shirts out there and a lot of things like that. How difficult is it to go the denim route? I mean, I guess we'll see. (laughs) Um, But I think just the process is, is, is more complex and more costly. Um, you know, anybody can come up with it. I mean, you know, like there's a, there's a place legit across the street from my house that does like one off personal t-shirts. Like if you want to do like a happy birthday, Greg t-shirt or whatever, you can go there and do that. You can't necessarily just do that with a pair of jeans. Um, I actually did an internship with a streetwear company. Like when I was in my, it's still in school a long time ago but um i kind of got to lay the land in this certain process when you make anything like a cut and sew garment anything that's not printed on a blank right um so you gotta you gotta get a prototype which is what i did i kind of told you that story about going to the tailor a few times right and and then um you gotta get a pattern made so you gotta see a pattern maker you have to have that pattern (laughs) graded which means they take the single pattern um from the from the prototype and then they just kind of i'm not really positive on the process but i i'm assuming they use some kind of ratio to expand <laughs> and make the sizes smaller to get a different size range um so and then from there you can take all those materials and you can go to a manufacturer so when you you're out of Massachusetts, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So designing was it strictly for sneakers, or I know you said you mentioned about Casual Fridays. So you're in the sneakers, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean. So what separates um, your jeans I, from the other jeans? I mean, it's just a cut, really. I, I I made these. I made these jeans specifically with wearing them with sneakers in mind. Um, I was so excited about being able to wear jeans and sneakers to work that I really wanted to, you know, do it up. So it's really just the way they're cut. Um, you know, I think there's probably some other jean companies out there, denim companies that have um, a similar cut, but, I mean, I don't know if they necessarily design pants specifically for you to wear sneakers with. I try to show it. Like, I don't know if you guys get an opportunity to look at the IG or even the Kickstarter. Oh, of course but we I, did. You know, I try to... Sorry? No, we, we, yeah, we did. Yeah, we absolutely did. Okay. So I, I just, um, you know, I, I really try to showcase different kinds of kicks um, with the pants. You know, even on the Kickstarter video, I know, like, I, I got a dude in there with, like, desert boots and stuff, too, just to show that it's not specifically for sneakers, but it was made with that in mind. So being from Boston, then, these are going to be the perfect jeans to wear with our Kennedys. They could be, man, you know, and they could be perfect with the Kyrie Shamrock toes, too. Those are fire. Did you get a pair of those? <laughs> Hell no. Did they even release yet? Yeah, they released only at a, at a house of groups in Boston and New York. Uh, I think that was, like, two, three weeks ago. 
Damn, I missed that, man. I don't even know about it. They hey, are. man, I rely on you guys for this kind of information. You guys didn't talk about it. They are fire. I, know, I wish well, I could get my hands on a pair. Actually, for... you know, we probably didn't bring it up. I think I did because I want. Yeah. I, I might have just in our group chat because I because of the Shamrocks. Oh, uh, nah. I, they're all right. They don't look like those. Those are the Kyrie's are the type of sneakers to wear with jeans to me. Like they don't look. They're not casual. Yeah, I mean, I know, and and I mean, and you know, you know that's part of the, part of the thing that inspired me here too. Um, well, you guys, and it's not just you guys. It's everybody who's into sneakers and into fashion in general. Like, oh, these sneakers are okay to wear with jeans. These sneakers you got to wear with joggers. These are cool with shorts. Like, I really tried to make something that you know looks good with every pair. Um, you know, and I mean, I guess time will tell to whether that is successful or not. But that's the idea. Would well, you find it more difficult to like sell denim than you probably would t-shirts or anything else? I would figure that denim would be a hard sell. I mean, I think it's I think it's hard, but at the same time, it's like you know, I mean, a t-shirt, even like just streetwear in general, like not even like t-shirts, will just like take streetwear in general, like, the market's so saturated, right? Like, what... you got to be doing some fly shit at this point for me to buy your T-shirt. Like, your T-shirt's got to say something. It's got to have some graphics on it that are just, like, next level. Um, you know, like, I, I don't know how, as, like, a startup brand, you would just, like, have a spell out of, your, of the name of your company and put it on a T-shirt, and, like, how do people buy that? I have no idea. So, I mean... I think maybe it is a little trickier, but at the same time, you know, I have something here that's maybe a little different than what else is on the market. So we'll see. Well, you know, <laughs> but, that's one of the things. I mean, that's um, why we appreciate, you know, even talking to you because, you know, we appreciate anybody who's starting up anything. You absolutely. know, one thing that we're mm. not, you know, trying to do is like, you know, convince anybody. We want people to go to your IG, follow you, do things like that, and, you know, be the judge for themselves, you know. Just and now, give somebody the opportunity. Yeah. And where are you right now in the process? Is Are the jeans in full production? Are we still in the sample phase, stage? Like, where... That's a good question. Where are you in so the process of I the have, brand? Sure. Um, I, ha I have two products, so I have... Um, so they both have the same fit. They're both called the standard. They're both, you know, designed to go... To, to fit and sit up on top of your sneakers and be comfortable elsewhere. Um, and I have the Master Series, which I can do right now and have been doing right now. And um, those are handmade by a master tailor. Is that the pair that you sent George? Is, or? That's that's the pair that I sent to George. The, 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 um, the, the pair George has is handmade. Okay. And it's, you know... It's by a master tailor. It's made one pair at a time. Like, I think that's a really solid product because I don't think there's a lot of other stuff like that on the market in terms of quality. Um, but it isn't scalable. It, I can't. I can only make like a hundred pairs of those a year, tops. And honestly, the, the the guy that makes them would probably be so mad at me if I sold more than more than that, and it just wouldn't be worth it because really. He's taught me a ton about this business, and I really value, value his relationship. Um, so really what I'm trying to do now, and I've already done all, this, all the sampling, the prototyping, um, the pattern making, obviously. I've even met with manufacturers. Really what I'm trying to do with the Kickstarter is really try to get up enough capital to meet their minimums um, so that I can sell them and I'm not just essentially giving them away. Manufacturing, when you get into a cut and sew garment like that, you can't just make like, you know, two dozen or so. You got to make like a hundred or more. Hmm. It kind of reminds me of the story a little bit of that show. I don't know if you guys remember the show on HBO Shark Tank. Uh, you say Shark Tank. <laughs> you say Shark Tank uh, for literally uh, everything. I'm not how to make it in America. Yeah, how to make it in America. See, he knew what I was talking about. Yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, it well, it was only on for two seasons, yeah, but cutting. it was. A, yeah, oh, super okay. dope show. Yeah, damn, it was a damn good show. Yeah, and it started with like the premise um, of like someone designing their own jeans, and then it throughout the show they talked about sneakers and then fashion and shit like that. But which is different than coming to America, the movie. We can't do right. anything with this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can't have a serious conversation with him. I'm wearing an entire Browns costume right now. 
<laughs> if, if, if the listeners haven't seen How to Make It in America, it's still on like HBO streaming, man. Really good show. I was upset when it was canceled. But and if hey, you haven't seen Coming to America, watch story. that also. Definitely watch Coming to America. Get it? Uh, if you haven't seen Coming to America, you should probably stop listening to this podcast right now. <laughs> Facts, all right? Because Coming to America is one of the greatest movies of all time. We did talk about the uh, Halloween McDowell's at that one oh, restaurant in right. L.A. So, uh, so you know, before we uh, before we let you go, you know, like I said, we appreciate you being our sponsor today. Uh, the jeans are dope that you sent. They're definitely high quality. Uh, right now, what sneakers are you rocking? Like, what is what is your go-to sneakers right now? Well, right now, um, I try to like I try to keep it kind of chill for work. Like, I don't want to draw too much attention because, like I said, I do work for a fairly conservative financial services company, and I just got like a triple navy pair of Moabs that I'm oh, really okay. liking. Um, and then last week, I bought. I said last week or the week. Well, I got them last week, but I, probably, I bought them on Black Friday. Um, the Nike Commuters. Uh, which ones are those? The ACG. The ACG oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are fire. I want. Those are actually I tight. think they're only like one ten, and then I like I saw a pair for eighty or seventy, and I wanted to buy it, and never did. Yeah, that's what I want to pay for. Yeah. those are tight. I got them. For, yeah, I got them for like a hundred bucks on Black Friday, and I mean, I love the um the dude that designed those is the dude from Acronym. Um. Errolson Huey's like my favorite designer. Like I think everything he does is just absolute fire. So I've been wearing those like not to work, like on the weekends or whatever. Um, but yeah, th- that's a really interesting shoe. Like it, it's so different that I was like, like I love the way it looked. I put it on. And I was like, okay, all right. But it was, it's, it, there's, I don't think there's anything else there like that at all. Well, that's actually dope, man. So uh, we're actually going to let you go right now, but we encourage everybody to follow uh, Cambridge Denim on IG. Are you on Twitter, too? Uh, I mean, uh, no, I'm not. I mean, not I have active a on it. account on Twitter that I might set stuff out <laughs> at, but primarily just on IG. That's really where all the um, you'll find all the content. Well, we want, lead you right to the kickstarter. Yeah, you need to uh, you need to more content, man. You gotta fire that stuff out all day. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm you know I'm trying. I'm I'm in there working in the office just like you guys too. That's fine. Um, but you know, I, I hear what you're saying. You know, it's and it's it's a, a delicate balance between like. Providing everyone with enough information and not being annoying, right? All right. Well, you know what? I learned that even with the podcast, sometimes mm-hmm. I know we could be obnoxious sometimes, and I know sometimes our posts are a little obnoxious, but it seems to work. So, you know, I encourage everybody to go in there and check out the jeans, check out the brand. You know, we don't encourage anybody to do anything, but we encourage everybody to give somebody an opportunity and at least take a look. And like we said, we appreciate you sponsoring the podcast and. You know, we appreciate the jeans too. Uh, them joints are thick. Yeah, yeah. Them joints my, are like my pleasure. I mean, them joints honestly look like they could stop bullets. Uh, these are facts. Like them joints are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, the the Japanese salvage the, is thirteen ounces. It's it's uh it's a little little stiff at first, but after like after like two three washes, they definitely soften up. And after like five or six, like they're butter soft. Yeah, so, uh, but I uh, know we appreciate you coming on. And, uh, you know, obviously, if there's anything from us, and, you know, you're the sponsor throughout the show today. And uh, there's ever, anything you ever need from us to hit you, you know, to uh, help out or do anything, just let us know, man. Word up. All right, cool. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate coming on. It was great to talk to all of you. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to more episodes. Awesome. Thank, Thank you very much. Much appreciate it, man. Take it easy. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye bye. That was a uh, was that was that on a cell phone or was that on what's phone. the difference between cell phone and S- oh no Skype for video or something I have it no 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 you can do Skype voice but I have it set up where we could call cell phones and landlines too so oh because someone has to be at their computer for Skype yeah, yeah yeah you have to uh, be on your computer for right. Skype we start prank calling people uh I thought about that today. we did, did, did know, we I talked about, about that one like didn't we call House of Hoops you called House of Hoops and no. put the phone on the uh, well just real quick that was a uh, Ross uh, Sharpen Tear that's his name. Uh, for Cambridge Denim sponsor yes, of the show. Thank you. So we That's appreciate. I want to let it know. No, you know? we thought that was like his, <laughs> his mailing address. So uh, we appreciate him coming through, talking for a minute about his brand. You know, we encourage everybody to check it out. You know, we don't convince anybody to do anything, but check it out. You know, somebody I know starting up absolutely something. Absolutely zero about 
denim, anything. Greg said they're this is really nice. So, yes, you shop at American Eagle. We know. Um, hey. You, we almost missed Jordan Eleven's because he actually said he wanted to send me a pair <laughs> oh, no, of jeans that are not from American Apparel, isn't that? Yeah. Or whatever. Well, American that what Eagle. He, he listens to the show. He said, you know, send, <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got George some jeans that weren't from American Eagle." <laughs> we so. almost missed out on Yeezys because of your American Eagle jeans. That's fixation. actually a fact. So, Which one was that? When uh, you were trying to return something to American Eagle, and we were chilling forever. at Starbucks. Yeah, at Scottsdale and we Mall. barely got to undefeated in time. Okay, now, us. Getting About Yeezys. 30 people behind us still got Yeezy, so I'm gonna need y'all to chill out. Our side. We could have got back in line. We could have got in line earlier instead of BSing and had everybody complaining, and we would have got bigger sizes. Does my voice sound normal to you guys? Yes. It feels like I'm vibrating. It doesn't sound like it did on episode one, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you go back and listen to our first ones. They sound wild. It right. sound like we're all in like a, a hallway. Right. <laughs> In a bathroom, pause. The ones at George's house are bad. But that's how my editing skills are fire. Yes, but this was in a studio, and it still sounds like that. So real quick before you go on the other stuff, I just want to talk about today. Just a quick, because I, I I, it's nothing big. It's just that whole thing with like- uh, He's dying to know. D-Nice, you know, from FBCC. yeah. A whole thing, he you know. You? He's not your homie no more? Oh, no, no. That's the homie. No. Uh, but he, he, everybody else today, I guess in the customizer world and design world, it's just the most beef on earth. So basically, and I kind of want to clear it up because people were thinking that I did something and whatever. So basically, somebody had tagged. Has Greg ever apologized on the show before? Because this might be a first. Did you apologize? I've never apologized before, but I might apologize <laughs> to this. But the only person that deserves an apology is... is Geiger from me. That's who I would apologize to. Was he yelling at you? Geiger yelled at you? No, no, no. But I shouldn't have jumped out the window on Geiger <laughs> like I did because I wasn't willing to jump out the window against D Nice because that's the homie. So basically, somebody tagged, DM'd, I'm talking multiple DMs, tags on basically trying to say that he stole a design from somebody else. So I, I courtesy, since we know him, we talked to him, the yeah. homie. I DM'd him just to like, yo, what's up with this? You know, what is this? Now, I gave him that courtesy because that's the homie. Like, he cool. Yo, he can tell what's up with that, you know? Now, I will say I apologize to Geiger. I mean, I really don't care for Geiger, but I jumped out the window immediately when everybody got on the Geiger situation. Yeah. I got tagged on it, got sent it. Yo, Geiger's this, Geiger's that. And I jumped out the window and went in on him. Now, it got us blocked by Geiger and a bunch of his buddies. <laughs> But I don't think your mic's on, bro. I pulled the cord. Oh, but um, I pulled the cord out on purpose because I was coughing. And gagging. you know, it's one of those situations where it's like be in a coffin soon. So what I didn't like today you was you know, D nice. He explained everything, talked about it. I only have what to go off with him because he seemed like a solid cat from day one to us. So that's what I work on. So to me, that's the homie. Now you know he's in a way explaining. How where he gets inspiration from, which is what everybody does. Everybody gets their inspiration from somewhere. It's not a bad situation. What I didn't like today, I'm getting DMs. I'm talking, a phone wouldn't stop from people basically like half of them are like, yo, he's a liar, he's a thief. Half are like, he's the realest person on earth. And I'm just like, and everyone's like, yo, this and that. I got the proof. I got the secrets. Yo, blah, 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 blah. People and love I, DMing you with secrets about people's girls, about bruh. people. And I said, He might get the like JFK story soon. He even got a dick pic. Bruh. That's facts. And I chill said, out, chill out, you. He did get a dick pic. And I said. Bruh, you love saying dick pic. And I said, bruh, come on the podcast. Anybody could come on here and say whatever they want. Yes. And all of them are like, nah, bro, that's not my thing, fam. But they want me to jump out the window on them. Now, like I said, I originally, when the Geiger stuff came out, I probably should have hit up Geiger and said, hey, man, what is this? Before I jumped out the window and went in on them. But all I got to work with is D Nice is our guy. He's a solid cat to us. That's all I got. So I don't care what anybody says about FBCC. If you ain't got no solid proof and whatever, I don't care. That's the homie. So just leave me alone. When I talked about the Geiger stuff, only one person <laughs> hit me up like, yo, D Yeah, nice I want to know lying. where all these people were at the beginning. That's the thing. Not any of these people hit me up at all when we talked about Geiger. Only one person did, and his profile is about mixtapes. 
Today, literally <laughs> the most customizers on earth. I didn't even know these customizers exist. All right. They're, I mean, they're just hitting me up like, bro, I got the proof. They're showing me emails from like months ago, showing me pictures of people's moms, like crazy stuff. And I'm like, bro, I don't, that means nothing to me. I said, I, I said, look, D nice, we know D nice through the internet. His clothes and shoes are fire. That's all I got. So to us, he's a homie. I don't know him personally from a bag of nine laters. I don't know Geiger from a bag of Starbursts. I don't know the man who created Batman 3s. I don't know any of these people. And I had no business jumping out the window against Geiger based off of stuff, people tagging and stuff like that. So now I'm not going to jump out the window on somebody that we consider the homie. So I'm not. You know, check out his new website, The World Around Sneakers, like around shoes. Like, Check out his podcast. Like it's he's a regular cat to us. He's cool with us. I ain't got no beef with no customizers. Do not DM me anymore. Some cat was like, "Yo, I'm coming on, but first I gotta get back to the lab and design." I said, "I don't know what that means." Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not. I don't know. I just like you know what. Leave me alone. So, hey, if anybody got beef with somebody, contact them. Don't contact me anymore. You said right? somebody created a Batman three. Yeah, you know that's what we I don't Geiger about creating that three. That guy that made the custom three, and then Geiger made one and selling it. I wonder if he calls his lab the Batcave. Nah, it's for a kid, Anchor. Anyways, D Nice at BCC, them guys are cool. Like, they're the homies to me. And until somebody can come through with some concrete facts, uh, hey, D Nice is killing a customizing game, sneaker game, solo design game, boutique game. Gang, gang. Gang, 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 gang. Like, I don't <laughs> care. He's killing all of y'all. And I suggest gang, everybody gang. get to the lab. It's just like. I hate, I hate boot. Boom, oh, Boo Gang, he got a. I don't even know if he's still around anymore. I hate him. He's gonna hate die. Him. I don't soon. care. I hate him. But either way, just like any other podcast, you start a podcast, don't bother me. Do your podcast and be better than us. All right, you'll never be better than us. Anybody, I don't care who you are to start a podcast, but just don't bother us. Not don't. even if your last name is podcast, because yeah. you don't have George. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, but anyway, let's move on. How would you guys know what how to make? How, what did I say? How you made it in America? How to make it? Huh? How to make it in America? Would you, how'd you guys would know about that if you mm. wanted for me? I also wouldn't know half the stats that I know. That's mm. a fact. We all provide something special. Or ratios, to this podcast. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Um, or, how to, or how to count cards. But shout out to FBCC, and I, I'm waiting for my red pythons because uh, them joints are fire. All right. And uh, shout out to D Nice. Shout out to all the customizers. Shout out to all of you. Like, yeah. All right. That's all I got. Shout out everyone. So I don't Ryan, know any of them. Yeah. So I don't know either. I don't know them. <laughs> but Katz is like, your character is questionable. I, you lost a listener today. I said, no, you're not. You, <laughs> new episode Thursday morning. Like, stop it. All right. Uh, anyways. Rat malls, what are they called? Rat malls? Rat Yeezys. <laughs> rat, rat, so, rat, rat malls. Rat, rat so, dirt. Kanye the con artist. That was, a, a good, that was a good play on words, too. No, George. the yellow one's the desert rat, supposedly. Desert See, rat. I was right about that. You called it something else. I think that's a different one. What was it? I called it the... Oh, no. Some other kind of rat. Yeah. Rat something. <sighs> rat king. Splinter. Uh, the splinters. Uh, he'll get playing words too. Con artist, I like that with the K. Mm. Uh, so Ryan tried to cop. You both tried to cop, right? I did. I don't know about tried to cop. I Man, was on the website. If there was a shoe exclusively, I right. would try. Yes, and so, I would do as well. So what happened? Because I didn't try. So basically, Kanye West um, <laughs> dropped the Desert Rat. Desert Rat. I, I don't know. Yeah, what is it? Whatever. Something uh, rat. The yellow one. The yellow rat. <laughs> the yellow 500. Yeah. Is that was the a 500, 500 right? The rat 500. Um, I'm going to the website right now. Let me double check the name. <laughs> it is called the... It's not actually on there, is it? Yeezy 500 Desert Rat. Super... Told you. Color Super Moon Yellow. All but, I do is win, win, win. What'd you say? Super, ugly, moon, super yellow. moon Yellow. Super Moon. Ugly. So... The that's a, only, actually, that sounds like a, like a Japanese colorway. I don't blame them because that's like... So the only way to cop the shoe is to also buy a Yeezy hoodie and Yeezy shorts, nonsense. bringing you to a grand total of $760. And the reason I know that is because I've added to cart about eight times and then sat and <laughs> you contemplated. You might as well just check oh, out, bro. Right? And then sat and contemplated on whether or not what I could do with the hoodie and the shorts to keep the shoes because I do want the shoes. You would wear the shorts and the hoodie. You, you actually would. I just don't know why you would pay $320 for yeah, a but, hoodie. Yeah, I'm not paying. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, like I, said, I told you guys, if it was 500 bucks, You would literally three, wear would the entire outfit. I would. <laughs> oh, no, you wouldn't pay 500 bucks for it. I'd pay 500 for the for the hoodie. You don't want to pay 500 for like Yeezys you actually yes, like. Yes. No, you, but like I would pay 500 if it was the hoodie, the shorts, and the shoes. And I would keep the hoodie and the shorts. Now, if it was, if you I mean, got it on got Saturday, it. fine. You don't get it till March. Well, yeah, by then it's going to start getting hot here. I'm not going to be able to wear it all. 
Well, actually, it's all short. You could have worn, bro. You could have worn the entire outfit to the wedding. Oh, wait a minute. So uh, you don't get I'm the gonna, clothes? I might have to go top. <laughs> He's like, that's a good reason now. Uh, <laughs> the reception would be lit. Wait, so you don't get the clothes at you don't least get first? Anything? I mean, I don't know. I assume first. it just comes together. I don't. Know. Dude, but Kanye the, and Yeezy because there's Mafia only one checkout these button. Are clowns. Yes. There's right. only one checkout button. No, like all a, of it. One all of it says shipping no. March first. Yeezy Supply, whatever they are. Yeezy Supply. That's his website. Now, Goofy Connor's website. Now, the the thing that I found most interesting was that in the comments when Yeezy Mafia was posting about the release happening, there were yeah, people, we got to get uh, them Mafia. on the show. By the way, Yeezy Mafia, if you listen in, um, the the thing that. I was surprised to see was people were commenting that there are people that are still, and I don't know if this is true or not, or people were trolling, but people were saying that they're still waiting for their 700 wave runners. That's I've what he that said. Too. I've seen that too. So we're talking like, when we, we got ours about a month ago, right? No. Uh, Beginning oh, of November? Really? Oh, okay. First yeah. week of November? Yes. Yeah, second week, maybe. So they I mean, haven't even almost... shipped all of those. So I don't know. I Bruh, emailed them. That's a joke. All right. You're trying to make you buy these raggedy clothes. <laughs> To get them wax shoes. Well, right? and the freaking the Wave Runner we bought in like the first week of August, so September, October. We waited two and a half. We waited three months for them. I remember we used to get upset when like a store would like say you got to buy. No, like I think a, it was in July. I looked a pair at my of socks, pair or of socks, like when you'd wait in House of Hoops line. I used all night. to get upset for stuff like that. But if you think you're gonna make me buy a hundred twenty dollars sweatshirt and how much are the shorts? No, no three hundred twenty dollars sweatshirt and a two hundred. The sweatshirt was three hundred twenty dollars, and the shorts were two forty. No, Damn the shorts God. are two hundred. The shoe, no, that's right. The no, shorts and the hoodie are both more money than the shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro, that stuff is hot garbage. All right. And he owes. They <laughs> should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> and he owes two hundred thousand dollars to the manufacturers in wherever Turkey or wherever. You know what's ridiculous is like even if you bought it and it was like I just want the shoes, you couldn't resell those clothes. Like, that's a problem. You couldn't get rid of them. There's no way you could resell that hoodie for three hundred some dollars. You return them to Adidas though. <laughs> yeah, right. look at his face. You mail that stuff in, like, <laughs> send it back. I uh, wonder if the I want to know if the clothing is actually Adidas because like the Calabasas stuff actually has Adidas logo on it. Some of the other stuff doesn't. But did Calabasas the, stuff sell on Adidas though? The Calabasas stuff did. None of the Yeezy merch. None of the Yeezy. Clothing. None of the none of the Calabasas stuff that has gone to like consortium stores and uh, Yeezy supply was sold on Adidas though. Just those pants. That's it. Dude, I'm not And maybe socks and shit But they No, they have like If you go on right there right now There's a crew neck That says Calabasas Adidas And it's actually fire But it's 300 and something dollars Adidas never sold that If they were V2s Would anybody pay 700 Pay for that? Which V2s? I don't know Like if the, if someone said They were more rare Than the yellow ones oh, I think people would do it I, I, I Yeah, that, that's, who you, uh, that's what you're saying If, I, if it were Yes, if it were frozen, frozen on selling 60? Them. Yes, if it were frozen yellows Yes, I would do that. I would do that. Yeah, but then what would you make off of them? Forty dollars, maybe not. I would keep it all. I would feel like uh, I was yeah. justified for the frozen yellow. Like if you it was a three, if it was buy a, the frozen yellow shoe, and then I'm, I'm saying if that was the only way to buy it. I'm saying if that if it released like that, and it was the only way to buy it. Like if they released, yeah, the but that blue, probably is the only way to buy these. If they released the blue shoe, the blue tint. boost, the blue tint, and I and, want it, and you had to buy like a pair of like sweats and a hoodie, like I would probably do that. Because I want that, like, I want these Desert Rats, but it pisses oh, me off that it's a $200 shoe for $800. I can't do it. And, like, actually, I, I don't like, know. I don't know. I know a lot of people aren't going to like the shoe. I like what? the shoe. Man, don't switch up. I, I don't know. I like the shoe because Ooh, I like. You love talking about flip floppers. Runners. And look at you. Don't talk about what? Flip floppers. And now you you're right. I'm not, a super flip flopper. Like I know that. You're Actually, you're the biggest flip flopper on earth. What do I flip flop on? What do I flip flop on? What do I flip You flip flop on everything. Like what? You hated DB13s like I did. And all of a sudden, now you're, you're looking like for a, a pair of facts. You look at the CEO of Reef. Yes, I'm John Kerry. What's it good? But no, the so Kanye is obviously an evil genius. Um, I mean, if nobody bought it, he found out a way to meet. Uh, I'm sure some people, uh, high beast bought it. I mean, let's be honest. Oh, absolutely. Some people. The reason it. why it didn't sell out is because resellers can't make any money. But he found out a way to make people buy his overpriced clothing. He found out a way to give everyone a chance for retail at his shoes. And he found out a way to get people's money three, three months, months in, in advance. advance. <laughs> He's an evil genius. Uh. I'm telling you, you buy something from like, you buy something on back order like East Bay. They don't take your money till it ships. When he, me and them bought the Wave Runners, money gone. And Sock Jig, the man on Twitter, I talked, we talk about all the time. Same thing. 
he like tweeted out that day when he got the shipping confirmation. He was like, I look at it like a free shoe because I paid for it so long ago. I don't even remember. That's the money. Yeah, he doesn't care. The money's gone. But see, when we all could have got Wave Runners, I had them in car. Could have bought them too. I didn't because I didn't want the money we to come out. And then you all said that they don't take the money out. No, they and then I was yeah, heated. because that's yeah, how it yeah. was. And I was heated. That's and how then every website is. Out that they took the money out, I was like, oh, yeah. no, no, no. Which I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm angry I didn't buy more Wave Runners. I should have bought one of Hannah's name, my niece's name, my sister's name, and flipped them all. I don't understand. I mean, I guess. It's man. worth it to flip a million things like when the price is low because you, you – you getting the same flip on every one. It's not worth it when it's one pair. Kanye's been off, you know, for years and stuff like that. But like now, this type of like this to me is just wild. And don't nobody steal our uh, con artists either. I don't. It's trademark, just, trademark right now. Go on. I don't want to say it's disrespect, legal. but it's like well, you don't legal zoom. You don't care about us. <laughs> like you don't care about us. <laughs> we need legal zoom to sponsor the show now. Go on legal zoom, <laughs> trademark con artist. Um, we'll make shirts. <laughs> Now you're going to get sued. Jordan 11s. Concords. Y'all copping? You don't have a final thought on Kanye? I do have a final thought. He's a con artist. Like, Uh it's a joke. Like, (laughs) you can't, you shouldn't be able to make people, you can't, like, you know, if these rappers want to make me do something, make me pre-order your album to get the shoes, all right? Go platinum and sell out a sneaker at the exact same time. Like made a lot more than the album. You're right, but you know what? To help suffice your quote unquote debt or whatever they say he owes and sell your trash clothing. No. Like just stop making him the clothes. Like uh, yeah, why, why don't they stop making these clothes? I don't know anybody who owns anything Yeezy. Like I've never seen anybody wear anything. I mean all, bro, the, bro, all the, pants, the pants clicked, all sold out. When I clicked the, 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 sucked, the Adidas uh, track pants, they sold out. I think that company that comes on TV, Duluth I think they make better <laughs> pants, bro. The Luth company makes better <laughs> pants than them. Oh, you know what? Those track pants don't suck, but I think they make not the was... track pants. That's different. Well, I th- still Look with the track this. pants. I think I, they. So, so to click on when you click on the picture, I know that's not a bra, up. bro. Look how much. Oh my God! They're selling sock knit bras for three hundred dollars on the Yeezy site. Sock knit. What does that mean? Bruh. It means it's knitted from socks, <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. If they're selling bras on every three, but Kim Kardashian better have wore that, bro. She if did. She wore that. all that stuff. That you didn't see. The oh pictures? no, no, wore that. Not oh, oh you, you just mean came like off game worn? That better be like, yeah, game, <laughs> game worn. worn. <laughs> Kim Kardashian better game worn bra. <laughs> like you ain't selling with, me, bro. Comes with the upper deck coa. It better give women breasts too. All right. <laughs> that is trash. All right. I don't. I don't. I don't want to buy anything easy anymore. Oh, I'm yeah, so you, mad at yeah, you. Dude. You're right. Dude. I'm copping blue tints, fam. <laughs> I'm copping blue tints for certain. I'm you trying to cop wear, blue tints for everybody. You can wear it with that shirt. Flip flop. Sick of it, man. I'm sick of this sneaker game. <laughs> uh, anything else? What was talking about? Jordan 11s. Jordan Y'all copping? Concord's coming back 2018. <laughs> like I said, long time ago, bro. I'm sure I'll buy it and just leave it in the closet forever and stare at it and then sell it like two years later like I did the first time. You're going to buy it again? Probably. I don't have one. You had a back seat full of Concord 11s. Uh, I don't have any more. I still got one. You got one? I got one. I have one. I have one. All right. Nobody should want Concords anymore. Vegas Nike store is doing first come, first serve for Red 11s. How far have we come in like a two-year period? Not Maybe not even two years. Maybe like a one-year period. When you start doing first come, first serve on 11s. For red 11s. Uh. Mm. Well, red 11s are too late. Red 11s are No, no, I'm just saying, like, yeah, that's yeah. how far that no one cares. I don't think anybody really genuinely likes red 11s. I don't. Uh, I don't no, not like We them. know a lot of tacky people, okay? I, I shouldn't say we know. <laughs> on social media and in the sneaker culture in general, there's a lot of tacky people. God. Um, They're going to sell out, okay? Maybe not that instantly. You don't think they'll sit? I mean, they might sit till like you know noon or two or three in the uh, afternoon. But I think does does Kim have like as big of a following that this shit actually sells? Like how Kanye does with sneakerheads? Like do women like actually go like this shit? Like they're selling a fucking cotton skirt for four hundred dollars. You still talking about that? <laughs> so does she, I mean that's what my question though. Like do women are there women that are like no. sitting at the I don't computers? even think women buy the Kith women stuff and the Kith women stuff is fire so why okay. the hell would they buy that well cuz of Kim Kardashian but does she have I don't that think thing women of, like uh, Kim Kardashian do they I don't, I don't know. know the only I people mean, I see standing for them on social media is girls is, not, not women I don't even know about that I was going to say dudes who want to sleep with her or whatever I don't even see them 
I don't know. I've never. Did she tweet out? Yo, go buy my stuff on. Well, apparently that's so obviously that's, not her stuff. It's apparently, easy stuff. that's I mean, what she gets part in the divorce. But. That's where Yeezy Mafia. <laughs> yes, that's where Yeezy Mafia got the information. I guess she posted something on her Instagram or Twitter yesterday oh, about had, the time of the Yeezy season six release. So I don't they, know. Her and the sisters always do that. They they're. They get the shoes before Kanye does sometimes. Yeah, but there's high heels on there. I didn't even know there were high heels on that for seven hundred dollars. With just a little strap. I mean, seven hundred sixty dollars. Just, shit, I don't care, man. I, I'm sick of it, bro. It's just utter nonsense, bro. That skirt looks like it's from Forever Twenty One, right? <laughs> and they want three hundred dollars for it. Three hundred sixty dollars. Nah, here. We got more rips. Um, there's no rips, more rips, but there's rips. If you're listening, wait. Did anybody say we copy Concord Elevens? <clears throat> Uh, I said I am, but they'll just sit there. I mean, because the only reason I'm copying number one is because it's after the wedding. <laughs> I don't got nothing to save money for. No, that'll be months and months and months and after the wedding. Then I'm sure it'll sit there for two years, and I'll never wear it. I probably will buy a pair of Concord Elevens. Yes, one. Why you have a pair? Because it's a different patent leather. But he buys everyone. Did he buy the blue ones? No, I'm you not buying the blue ones. No, no, the blue that the navy ones that just no, came I'm out. not buying those. And the reds. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I thought he did. No, I haven't <laughs> I bought them, but I, right. I, 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 I might. I'm going to tell you this. It'd have, to be for, it'd have to be cheaper than retail. The blue navy ones <laughs> are fire, but they do look like Concords. They're fire, period. Uh, but you, did you keep Fire is a strong word. No. Did you buy a pair? Yeah. Got rid of them. Oh, it's, no. It's navy's a, are fire. a strong word. Navy's are fire. All right. For if a you, Cowboys fan? If you wore those with a Michael Finley jersey, uh, you'd be the shite. Uh, what else? LeVar Ball. Mm. Evil genius. Oh, now you like him? No. no. Like him so what happened with LeVar Ball? He took out, what's his it's name, a, out of UCLA? I don't know. It just gets more and more interesting. Like uh, More people seem like more to back him even like more convincingly, and then other people hate him even more now because of the... Such a love-hate relationship. The interview that he did with the boy. Uh <laughs> I don't. His, you know what I mean. His kid. So what happened? I need some explanation. Dang, something got, got paid out of my wave runners, fam. What happened, George? Happened, Finally, George? he did the interview. I don't Who know if it was. What, no, what happened? You said it. <laughs> trying to get me to say it again. Who paid you out? You want me to say it? Nope. <clears throat> what happened? Sirius XM Radio paid me out. Uh, they went on sixty minutes or uh, whatever that show was. What's that show? You, uh, Today show? Mm-hmm. Maybe it was Today Show, and they did the interview. And homeboy said, "Oh yeah, they were. Uh, my card got declined, and they were stealing. So I was like, well, 'Well, I'm gonna steal too.' Snitch, huh? So it's and how does card get declined, anyways? That's a good question too. And that's selling because it was clothes. in. I bet you it was just because it was in China. I bet you it had nothing to do with like he's just so dumb and a child that he doesn't know you can just call the credit card company and tell them it's not fraud, and they'll turn your card back on. He is a dumb person. He's definitely off. They all are." You shave those lines in your eyebrows? I think LeVar is the actual smartest one. <laughs> he's the only one who know- I mean, granted, he's an adult, but he's the only one who knows anything. I was like, he's taking all his kids' money. Um, well, he's Europe- not, though. He's getting paid for that YouTube series, I bet. And he's- Yeah, they do. I mean, Europe team. Of- all them events they do. They- Bruh, when they were in China after he got arrested, they went and did Big Baller Brand thing like meetup at like two stores. <laughs> in like Shanghai and somewhere else. And they said it was like 200 people camping outside for Big Baller Brand. Bruh, you know what's Cass crazy? got paid. Huh? You know what's crazy? You know how your priorities are weird. And his credit card got when declined. Your son- <laughs> Is when your son is in in, in China jail oh, and you yeah. out there doing events, bro. Yeah. That's some wild stuff. If my son's in prison in China, the, the events get canceled. All right, I got to get my son out. All right, I don't know, man. I think the whole I a love hate relationship. Him being taken out of UCLA, and I've seen like a couple European teams say like they got opening positions as security guards or something <laughs> like. No one's There's been a, a lot shot, of no. jokes about once he said he was going to the NBA, people were like, how many steals a game is he going to average? Oh, okay, that's so funny. <laughs> but they, uh, I mean, they still, they say his signature shoe was getting ready to come out. So, I mean, <laughs> yes, it better the, have, the it, three. It better, it's funny. <laughs> the it better have Louis Vuitton printed. It's on it. funny that uh, LeVar was like, you know, he was just going to play basketball one and done. I thought that was funny. Like, he just assumed, like, I mean, that's what, that was the goal, I know. <laughs> but. I've only seen him play a couple times. He doesn't seem as good. The best one seems like the youngest one at no, basketball. Lonzo's the best one. Well, I mean, as of right now, like I think the son. Yeah, but Lonzo be was a better athlete at the same age as um, uh, Mello. I don't know the kids' names. Yeah. So this one's Leangelo, right? Yeah. 
Man, them names is trash. They should be sung by Ling Ling Ning. That's their Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's what they should. That's right. What they were doing in China. Though. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else are we talking about? Anything else? I told you Chicago would lose. They lost. I'm not sure. But like suck. 20 at halftime and lost. Uh, so your boy Herm Edwards is coaching uh, ASU. <laughs> An actual relic. I'm actually so mad about that. Oops. He did. He did it this way, isn't it? This way. I mean, <laughs> they did the press conference and he went like this. He was like, hey. Everything he's His done fingers is fingers all man. like bent up. I understand you play football, you get bent fingers, but yeah, so I mean, shocker. He could barely do it. He was like, Ugh. it's my. I'm he a probably has arthritis, dick. <laughs> I shouldn't even be doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm do this just to erase that. I shouldn't even be doing that hand symbol. Yes, you gonna have some bloods hitting me up next, fam. I saw George throw about. that seat. I'm gonna throw the Wildcats up. Um, I think it's utter. I, I Herm Edwards is too old to coach. I'm sorry, and I'm not trying to be. Did you hear what this interview was on like not Mike and Mike, but whatever the new Mike Mm-mm. show is or whatever? Right. Or ages. They asked him. Uh-huh. They asked him. He was on the show. Oh, and he was on NFL thing today. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tweeted that they were like, "This is so weird. It's what is dumb, he? Man. What is he doing on NFL Nation?" I, I don't understand. I'm sorry. I want to see my school win. I mean, they took all my money from my education. Like, they got to at least win football games. <laughs> okay. I don't get it. Like, I, I've literally been in arguments and so many thread arguments. Like, some are like, "Bro, this is gonna be so fire." Some are like, "This is ridiculous." And some cat literally shout out to Eric. You know, the homie Eric Willie Beeman. He was like. Bro, he's gonna be able to go into these these young these young athletes' homes and, and sweet talk the moms and the dad. I said they don't. The mom and dad ain't playing for the school. I said these young kids don't care about him. <laughs> they don't even care that he's on ESPN. I sent did I didn't I send you that one tweet where like the writer for AZ Central covers ASU asked the players about him and they really don't even know who he is. Nobody knows Nobody who knows he who is. is. Huh? Not like the younger generation. Ma, this. The only thing that these parents and these kids care about is how many games we're going to play on national TV. <coughs> Do I got an opportunity to go to NF- the NFL? And how and, fire are the uniforms? And yeah, how yeah, much yeah, free how much stuff can I get? get? Yeah. Florida is now a Jordan Brand school. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma's a Jordan Brand school. Michigan, North Carolina. You, look, they only care about free stuff, all right? Free stuff, can I get to the league, and how many games are going to be on TV? The, well, yeah, how, like how flashy the uniforms are and shit like that. Don't man. nobody care about no Herm Edwards, though. He is too old to be going in somebody's house. Really, he's too old to be on the road trying to recruit, all right? And I like Herm Edwards as a person. I the do. Whole, right. the, whole, <clears throat> the whole thing of what they did is hilarious. They are announced the front office is going to be run like an NFL team now. Did you see that? God. Man. Then they said. He's only 63. Then he's. What's, so, so what's that supposed to mean? You're acting like he's like a geriatric. <laughs> like, he's 63 years. He's not 90. 63 is old talking to 17, 16 year old kids. That's Wisdom. Yeah, okay. What's he going to tell him? Back in my day? Willie, That's what he's going to start everything out with. Willie Taggart is the one who just left Oregon for FSU after one year is 42. I think he can relate a little bit. He more. can relate a little bit more, all right? Uh, he's probably wearing exclusive Oregon Jordans already. Like Herm <laughs> Not Edwards, anymore. Herm they Edwards, took him back. He doesn't even wear dress shoes on the set of NFL Live. He's going to he get ASU don't. ultra boosts. Man, please, all right? I don't think ASU is a full size Adidas room. anymore. Aren't they Under Armour now? Or? Oh, I don't think they still do. Oh, no, Adidas. Oh, they're Adidas. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm and waiting those, for somebody to bring Kanye on a recruiting gonna, they're trip. They're going to get desert rats. Because and those, we're in the desert. Oh! That actually and, they those, <laughs> and they got those tan uniforms that are fire. Uh, Herm Edwards has no idea Bruh. what's going to happen. He's going to be fired in four years. No, three years. The AD's going to be fired in two years. So. Super Moon. These are facts. He should have already been fired. Super they're moon. keeping the same coaching staff together. It's just one change. He didn't even get to hire his people. They're, they said they literally put his out His people a, are dead, according to Greg. That's true. They put out a press release that said we're running our entire athletic department like NFL team now or whatever it is, that, which made everyone laugh. Herm Edwards' <laughs> press conference made everyone laugh when they said something about Devil's Digest, and he was like, oh, I'm a man of God. I don't fool with them devils. Said I'm Catholic. And he's coaching the Sun Devils. He's coaching the Sun Devils. And then today, the video where they brought the, the jersey, jersey and he was like, is that a woman's jersey? Is that a kid's jersey? This is the game jersey, coach. Uh, he's a mascot. He's a relic. I'm telling you. He has no idea. And they're keeping the same coaching staff. There's only a few people that I will hire that old. Bilicek, Andy Reid. Uh, nah, not Andy Reid. The coach of Seattle. I can't, Pete Carroll. Carol. <coughs> Andy Reid's a good coach. Coach Monarch? No, he's not. <laughs> Stop it. He's a good coach. He can't coach in the playoffs, but he's a good he's a good regular season coach. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we need to win the regular season in college. 
Anyways, Jordan Brand gonna run Jordan ones. Y'all see how many Jordan ones coming out next 38? year? Thirty-eight. Thirty plus pairs. What? Thirty-eight. I think you said. What are the thirty things? plus pairs of Jordan ones coming out next week? Jordan <clears throat> Brand is gonna ruin the Jordan. They're all highs or what? I don't know. I think so. Shang- Most of them said Shang- high, high, high. OG care. high. He is excited. Thirty pairs. Bro, what do we need all that for? He might see the light eventually. If anybody needs Jay, see the light. <clears throat> if anybody needs Shadow One, he looks to see if it's still on. <laughs> I got a nine. I got two tens or a nine and a half and a ten. The NDS hit me up. You wore two pairs. Oh, is this pair? <laughs> oh my! His pair was worn. I got another worn pair. Don't buy all it. My pairs are worn. It's trash. Don't buy them. He says <laughs> yours has glitter. It's glittered. Dang! You better not let Robert Rosillo hear that. Don't. Them joints turn to glitter. The yeah. Jordan brand makes. Unquality products. When your stuff turns to glitter instead of dust, they're getting, hus- is off. They're getting husbands in trouble all around the nation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else we were talking about today? Tinker bells. And they smell too, you know, like bubble gum. Yeah. They smell like they smell like, like, body work. <laughs> like, Victoria, yeah, like Victoria's Secret Spray. Uh, what else are we talking about today? Anything else? Rips. Okay. Anything else? I don't remember. I can't uh, think of anything. I don't think anything else to talk about. What else happened this week? Anything else coming out? Why is why is I don't remember NFL you guys, trash? NFL you, selling fake Yeezys now. You guys cut me off when I was talking about what was coming out. Are you guys buying the Montclair stuff? Uh, no. What's the resale? How much on are that? the Asics? Did you, did you look up any of any of the clothes or resale? You want to talk about expense? I, okay, I understand. Kith is Kith. Even with their regular Kith stuff, they king. charge a lot of money. They sold jackets and Montclair. Like I told you guys before the release, is like the height of like rich. French people. Yeah, yeah. That's who Breuer's Montclair. Reebok does collapse. Eleven hundred and seventy-five dollars for a jacket. Yeah. I've seen other stuff that high. I understand that, but I thought they were like two thousand, three thousand. Kith is okay, but Kith is for our culture. Not no rich people ain't buy. Would assume rich people ain't buying Kith. Hey man, <coughs> and what get. sneakerheads can afford twelve hundred bucks for one jacket? And Cass is buying seven hundred dollar sweat desert rats. Mm, apparently no one is because they're sitting. Anyways, what about eleven lows? What about Do they matter? The easters nope. and the cool grays? No, you're not gonna buy cool gray eleven low. No, uh, I hate cool gray. Cool gray eleven are trash. I'm buying cool gray eleven low. Cool gray eleven might be a top twenty worst sneaker of all time. That's one hundred percent false. I sure. hate cool gray elevens. So. Cool gray elevens might be tripping, top bro. four eleven. You're reverting back to your old ways. It's so. top four eleven. I told you're, you already. He was. Back. Uh, cool gray eleven is a top four. 11, yeah. You're crazy. Concords, bread, Space Jams, Cool Grays. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, is that all of them? That might be all of them. Top four. I don't know. I think there's some lows better than Cool Grays. Uh, Concord lows are better than Cool Grays. Anything else? You guys got nothing for me. I need something. Ugly sweaters. Are you buying ugly sweaters? No, they suck. Stop. Are they flying it? Are they flying it? No, they're not flying it. <laughs> yeah, we need opinions, or we need someone who's seen them in person. I know y'all seen it. I showed George the NFL selling fake Yeezy lights now. Actual NFL. <laughs> it's not like somebody putting NFL logos on fake Yeezys. The NFL is selling fake Yeezy lights. Did you buy right. her? No, I'm, I'm not Charlie. buying that trash. I'm not NFL is the worst. This is the worst NFL season of all this time. Might okay, be. until last Sunday when Josh Gordon. I'm not gonna turned. go that far, but it, it's that we just remember it because we're in the current. You know what I mean? It's recency bias. This is the worst NFL season of all. This time. is worse than when they had the lockout and fans played the game. Yes, when Keanu Reeves was the quarterback. Yes. <laughs> What's that movie called? <laughs> replacements. Replacements. <laughs> yes. I don't know, man. I'm done with the NFL. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I would watch, still watch the Raider game. Uh, of course. I still watch the Cowboys, but I don't, like, obsess over football. Like, I'm sitting on a couch. Don't bother me. Type I think the last, anymore. like, two years, I just haven't cared as much. I don't know why. Although, Probably because Josh Gordon's been gone. Now that Josh Gordon's back, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Although last week I did <laughs> really watch it, and I don't know why. I lost every single fantasy league, so. I did, too. Let me tell you something. I definitely need something to make me uh, care about watching sports. So, Bitcoin is beyond fourteen thousand. Really, I don't even know what that huh? means, man. <laughs> I'm so tired Gosh. of hearing about bitcoins. No, nah, fourteen surges past fourteen thousand. Everybody kept sending that like video of that like robot stripper. Though. I was like, that robot stripper takes bitcoins. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. There's like this video of this like robot that's like stripping on a pole. Right? And I'm like, yeah. so you throw bitcoins at her. Um, Anything else we talking about? Cause yeah. I got nothing. Who is he talking we should have did a top ten today. We should have put one together. We haven't done one in a while. We haven't done a top ten in. Uh, God, when was the weeks? last time we did a top ten? 
Big Rod. Oh. Shout out to, to Big Rod. He said we need to do the top 10 wrestlers of all time. Oh, and I agree yeah, with him. brother. We definitely need to do a top 10 wrestlers of all time. Oh, yeah. We said we need to do a top 10 snacks. And we need oh, yeah, to do something sneaker related. Yes. Uh, Jeez. Got nothing else. Top 10. There's something else. Top 10 dead time. wrestlers of all time. That's oh. fucked up. <laughs> Too far. Too the far. Top the, 10 wrestlers who died the between 30 and 40. Top 10 might have at least three that uh, are dead. There's probably 50. Oh, you mean top 10 uh, ever. Top 10 ever. Stone Cold Steve Austin is still alive. The Rock is still alive. See, that's before. That's like after Rick my Flair era. I, didn't, I never even watched Stone Cold Steve Austin. Rick Flair is still alive. I was alive. already done yes, with you. Were 42. I was already done with Stone wrestling. Cold debuted in 1996. <laughs> Stone Cold, the you know? best wrestlers at, that in my era is obviously Hulk Hogan. Uh... Ultimate Warrior, because when Ultimate Warrior came out, every, people were like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else funny. I don't and know what else funny. Goldberg, he probably was was uh, up there. Goldberg was we're not after making Stone our list Cold. now. I think Goldberg no, he was, he was yes, he doing was. the same era. No, he wasn't. Goldberg was definitely doing Goldberg the same era. Goldberg Sto- came after Stone I don't know if he came Gold. after, no, but didn't. it was definitely the same time at least. After Stone If Gold. anybody would know, it'd be him. So I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> don't argue. Just don't no, even know. I don't know about him. Maybe we should probably ask like Paul Rosenberg. What's his name? We didn't ask the Mega Man. Paul Heyman? What's Mega Ro- Ran. What's Rosenberg's name? Peter. Got, Peter Rosenberg. Peter Rosenberg. There you go. I was going to say he got that wrestling. Or Wale. Yeah. You got to get Wale on here. We got to get a few people on here. Um, we definitely need Easy Mafia because they're burning the streets up right now. Like with how many people follow them and how fast like they grew. They tweet and literally within a minute they have. I mean, what did I send you that one? Ten thousand likes, retweets, comments on their thing. One minute later, I mean, probably shouldn't have said that on here. Why are you doing that? Yo? Huh? I don't know what he's talking about. I people listen, they'll, they'll try and like get them on before us. So. No, I'm not worried about that. There's a lot of people who were heated about the nice kicks that we talked to. Them. What do you mean? <laughs> like, yo, what the f? Like, so other people were telling me what other people were saying. Like, yo, like mad because we got nice kicks. Like, I don't look. I'm just telling you. Like, hey, Matt Half not listen to our show like, since like the beginning. Hey, man, they That's were just so hating. Funny. That's how I put it. Hating. They weren't mad. That was like, a good episode. I enjoy listening to People hate on us every week. I ain't worried about that. Well, you know, I like being hated on. Um, I don't like being questioned. What do they say? What do they say? Um, if they ain't hating, what do they say? What do they say? What do they say? George probably knows. George knows all this fucking useless shit. Anything else? You I need be, you guys to give me something or we got to go. Number one. Oh, we, got, we got anything else. I mean, yeah, yeah, we, we go. got we got a good show. <laughs> We do? Yeah, is it a good show? I think so, yeah. You think good so? Show. I get good paranoid. Show. I like to make sure the show's good every single day. What week. is wrong with you two people, man? I mean, look. All three of our teams are trash. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are but wackos. But at least mine was bro. supposed to be trash. Y'all's team's supposed to be in the Super Bowl. Actually, I mean, you kind of had a little bit of expectation for you guys. A uh, little the bit. The over-under was four wins. So what do you want to talk about a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys did get those four. Actually, the Raiders-Cowboys, not this week, but next week, will be like the overrated bowl. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it might be the deciding factor on who does something. Uh, <laughs> I guess we could end this. Um, <laughs> yeah, but see, the difference is the Raiders still are are tied. They're tied for division lead. Basically, they can still win it. You guys get the division. Well, well I'm excited for the podcast. I'm excited too. for things that's coming. Soon come things big. I usually, don't talk about things that we do, but you know, behind the scenes. Arizona well, won last night. It was, a, it was a good game. Hmm, Arizona's kind of trash, bro. Just, did you get kicked like, out? Did you what, get any four and three now? Do you have any altercations? Do you have any altercations? No, no altercations. Wow. Did you drink? No, that's why that's no why, altercations. That's why there was no altercations. Yeah, I mean, that might be the first. There time weren't you, very many A and M fans in the building. There that, weren't many people, period, in the building. But that might be the first time you've been in public in about eight months that you haven't had an altercation. Yeah, I'm well, sick. Getting over. You've been, been sick, sick for a long time, bro. Now I will I will tell you you right I get sick more than you I've been I've been sick probably I first started the antibiotics sick on for, Saturday for like you get sick forever because like like normally I don't go get antibiotics that's why but the, but this week I went and she was like you don't want to do that because then this next thing is pneumonia and I was like oh I guess I shouldn't have been doing that all along well, if you get pneumonia you can't talk on the podcast <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is today is my last day of antibiotics so um, hey let's celebrate hopefully I feel better tomorrow <laughs> are you really not Still drinking coughing. anymore. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you, first, you gotta cut your beard off. You don't drink anymore. You have the beard of a drinker, Bruh, Going back and watching some of them episodes, his facial hair every episode is a joke. No? <laughs> you just gotta put it on and look and see what he. Every looks all like. of us look crazy. No, him specifically. He had that one like beard. Oh that yeah. like that. I got the most messages ever. Like, bro, what's up with your boy? And then one week. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then one week he had a beard, and the next week he cut it and just had like a small mustache or something. Bro, you gotta go back and watch all his all, all his disguise in my in my hair link. <laughs> all his disguise. Oh yeah, hair link was. No, we didn't have video too. then. Oh, uh, we didn't. Damn, we uh, started at fifty nine. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Keekly, dude, that's how it's memorable. Luke <laughs> Keekly, come a long ways. Uh, so we got about, <laughs> yes, we got about uh, twelve more months. Come on, shut it way. down. <laughs> um, unless some things happen, which I'm excited about. I'm you definitely have anybody. to make it through through January one of nineteen because we have to do sneaker awards twenty eighteen. Oh yeah, you want to give an update on that? Or? Oh yeah. Uh, make sure everybody votes. Still, <laughs> it's not an update. I mean, well, I mean, I'm not gonna say what's winning and what's not winning. I, I wanted to keep it open for a while. I think we'll probably do it maybe next I mean, next but week. you could say how many votes. Like, we have 37 million votes. Oh, we ain't got that. <laughs> well, we probably got about... 36 million. What's 10 times? Yeah. Like, <laughs> One million less. Let me see. We have... <laughs> we got at least a few thousand, I think. Let me see. Uh, we got about 1,300. So, I think that's a pretty good amount. That's not bad. I think the first time we did it, though, we had like... 10? No, like 2,200. It was, it was pretty high the first time. Second time was kind of low. Uh, this time is pretty good. So everybody keep voting. Go to our website. People are going to our website, man. Like I said, man, things are happening, and I'm excited. So I have no idea. Wheels are in motion. Um, are in motion. It's kind of crazy to click on the YouTube page on the total views thing. I don't know if you've ever done that. There's like 138 thousand total views or something like that. That's pretty crazy. Oh, for us? That. Yeah. Like Dang. of all the, of all everything. Dang, we doing all right out here, fam. <laughs> we doing all right. Maybe next week I'll have a mustache. Hell, okay. He's gonna do it on control, purpose. And this with a different color. Yeah, you can't do it now. I might too bleach late. my beard. Too late. Hulk you come Hogan, in with your Hulk bleached beard. You gonna you get sent home though. <laughs> <laughs> you come in with a bleached beard. You can't even see his face. This is a hat. Uh, anything else? Follow us on Twitter at the sneak un, the underscore sneak nah, disc. You'll do that. <laughs> Follow us on IG the sneak disc. <laughs> well, you'll do that after we shut the show down. I thought we were doing it. You just were shutting the show down. Well, you didn't do your bing 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 bing. Oh, we're doing that after? Okay. Anything else? That's a sneak disc. All right, there. I was done a long time ago, so.